You know, for walleye anglers that troll, a tattletail system on their planer boards is absolutely no secret. Big fish can bite real light, so it allows anglers to detect the bites very easily. Now this is actually a situation where I like to use that system with big crankbaits. We're running 10 to 15 foot leads behind the board only with big baits that pull hard. So it's easy to detect the bites, but this is a bay that's full of weed. So many times the crankbaits will get fouled up and you wanna know that right away. And that's what the tattle flag does for you. You basically set that spring just like you would with a spinner to a little bit more pressure than what that bait pulls and instantly you know if that crankbait picks up a weed and starts running off to the side. So you can reel it up, pull the weed off, get it back down there and running in the strike zone. The tattle flags may be giving Chase and Dave the initial green light on their next bite, but like on most bodies of water, what's actually on the other end of the line remains up for grabs. It's crazy, whatever it is. Especially since they're using larger profile crankbaits. <laughs> yes! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Just stocky, beautiful color to them. Man, they're pretty up here. I love fishing up here. <laughs> Just crushed. I don't know if this can be a walleye. Real oh, hard it way to hammered it. Yeah. And even as the clouds overhead eventually decide to just give up on damp and go straight for rain. Oh yeah, it's a walleye, Dave. Oh. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh yeah. The hits keep on coming just as hard on the boards. Oh, look at how big that is. Just T-bone the bait too. <laughs> and whether it's another big fall UP walleye. I mean it hit like a like a huge bass or a or big northern just killed the board. The board was just shaking. <laughs> I guess it was the right kind for us though. <laughs> or even something perhaps a little higher up the food chain. We're ready to catch them. For a bite that isn't necessarily supposed to be fast and furious, much like the incoming downpour, it isn't showing any signs of slowing down. I don't know what this is, but it's going to be decent. That's I have a, a big few. fish. Crush the board. You got the drag tightened down pretty good. And it's a little bit of drag. It's those those head big. shakes did not look like a walleye, but you know, out, you know, out here last, you never know. Yeah, the last uh, last few cranks here it hasn't done much, so oh. I'm a little excited. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm excited. <laughs> Musky! <laughs> yeah, not only Pete Maynard can catch these things. Oh, there he is. Get it, get it, Dave. Yes! <laughs> oh, she got some weight. Whoa. What do you think about that, Mena? <laughs> not just musky boys can catch these things. <laughs> Fish of 10,000 casts or trolling big cranks. Yep. <laughs> That's what you get when you're walleye fishing. A little in the walleye adventure. Oh, what a beast. <laughs> I, I don't think he felt no oh, pain. Oh no, that one, that one was ready. <laughs> what a fishery. Another I mean, healthy walleyes, healthy muskies. We're out here, you know, trolling crankbaits Everything's around. fat here. You don't know what you're going to catch, do you? Well, this one's definitely got some weight to it, you can see. <laughs> yeah, staying straight down. Be the right kind. He hit like the wrong kind, but he's acting <laughs> yeah. like the right kind. Yeah, he's... The way he's straight down like this, he could be the right kind, and he's definitely got weight to him. There's a lot of weight there, Dave. He sure whacked it funny. <laughs> yeah, he did. He's just straight down under the boat. If you can, off to the side just a little bit, otherwise he's going to be right in the motor when it comes up. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I kind of knocked you on the head with the net a little bit, but... <laughs> It sure looked like it would be a northern. Yeah, I mean, man, this, this thing just killed it. But here you go, man, you reeled it in, it's all yours. You're gonna let me hold the fish? Yep. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. <laughs> it's a beaut. Oh, it's, uh, you know, it's raining out here, but uh, when you can come out and catch fish like this, uh, you don't feel the rain very much, do you?
information on tackle and techniques to make you a better fisherman. Presented by Mercury. Several years ago, Gary Parsons and I worked with Berkeley to come out with a series of crankbaits called the Flicker Shad. We put a lot of great attributes into the bait for a shad style bait. Things like a very quick top to bottom roll, a high pitched rattle. We started out with two sizes, the number five and seven, and more recently we added on the four and six. Now, a lot of people would say, well, why do you need so many sizes of crankbaits for one particular style. The reason is, is that there's different times to use different sizes. The first thing to look at maybe is the depth that you're actually fishing. There are many times, especially in the spring, when wallies can be up very shallow and an effective way to catch them is to troll in four, five, even six feet of water. So in those cases, I want a bait that doesn't dive too deep but still has a good action. In those cases, I use, say, the number four and the number five. They're also a more subtle action, so that's better in that cold water, early season time frame. Now, as the summer moves on, a lot of times walleyes move out a little bit deeper. That's when I go on to go to a little bit more aggressive bait, but I also want one that can dive fairly deep. The number six and number seven bait here, even on monofilament, can dive all the way down to 14 or 15 feet deep just by letting out 150 feet of line. So again, the first attribute you might look at when picking which bait to use is how deep am I fishing and then picking a bait that only goes that deep. The second thing to look at, and maybe more importantly, is the profile of the bait. Because a lot of times a different profile is going to catch better fish for you. Early in the season, again, a lot of times smaller baits do better because the bait fish is small. As the summer moves on, I'm going to move to a bigger and bigger bait. Another time to look at different profiles is based on the size of fish you're catching. So that's why there's so many different ranges of baits in one particular style. One thing I want to add is this last summer, we actually added another bait. We did a lot of prototype testing with it. This is the new number nine flicker shad. Again, it's a bigger bait. When you get around big fish, this might be a great selection. So a lot of different sizes, all will catch walleyes. Just use the right one at the right time.